Our next character we've got is the greedy, money-hungry Wario. Money-hungry? Oh, do you not know that about Wario? No. Oh, like in his games, it's all about collecting all the coins, uh, and there's uh, his cover of his GameCube game was like him just in a pile of money. Ah, uh, I didn't know that. Some people in the comments suggested how Mario is to Wario is like the inverted version of it, right? Ah, uh, I didn't know and that. And he's like the evil version right. of Mario. You just flip the M upside Never down, that. and that's why Waluigi. He's called Waluigi because uh, he's like the uh, Wario to Mario, the Waluigi yeah. to Luigi. You never knew that. Never knew and it's that. their their symbols just turned the other way. Oh, I don't know that. You're an observant human being in <laughs> planet Earth. So with that in mind, people went with the evil version of Mickey Mouse, say Mortimer Mouse. But to me, I don't think he's quite iconic enough to Mortimer. get a slot on the on the roster, even though that is a good way of thinking. Ha cha cha! Peter's big! And now he's small! <laughs> and this is how I'm gonna take it off! Another cool idea, I thought, was visually looking at Wario, it could be Stromboli from Pinocchio. Yeah, okay, he's a bit tall, love it, yeah. Um, but again, I've not gone with that. I've gone with more the money-hungry side of Wario. I have gone with the one and only Scrooge McDuck. Oh. We've got another duck in the game! Okay. Ow, 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 ow. Are we not ducked out? A little bit, yeah. a little bit, but it was so perfect. Like their characters do gel quite well. Maybe they should make a duck game. Just a duck fighting game. Duck fighting game. There's clearly a franchise for it. So one of Scrooge McDuck's most famous outings was in DuckTales, but also he had an NES game. And in that game, he used his walking stick, almost like a pogo stick, and to like bash oh. on enemies and like jump on them. So he's gonna have his stick to like bash into people's heads. Okay, great. He could also whack it like a sword perhaps, but like hit people with his stick. I've got a lot of stick-based moves here. <laughs> he could like hook things with it. Also, when he's hanging off a ledge, he won't hold the ledge. Ooh. He'll use his stick. Okay. <laughs> and then I came up with a move that I'm calling one two dime. This is one of my favorite moves. He's gonna throw a coin at a character and then it hits them and while it's still in the air, he's gonna get his stick, zoom to it and catch the coin with his stick. So it's giving it a one, two, so that's one whack, two whack and then grab it, dime, one, two, dime. Wait, 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 wait. wait. So he's gonna throw the throw coin. the coin. Then with his walking stick, he's gonna grab the coin. Hit, hit and grab. Mm-hmm. And then what's the third one? Oh, he just catches it and put it back in his pocket. Oh. What if he has money bags? Throws the bags. And then so goes and collects, collects them. them. <laughs> yeah, yeah, maybe, maybe. Unless He's... their bags are on wire. On fishing hooks. He throws the bag and then goes... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, maybe that could work. He's a fisherman? Well, he is Scottish. And obviously being Scottish, he plays the bagpipes. So in the same way as Wario farts and like all gas yeah, comes out, yeah, yeah. he's going to play the bagpipes and go... <laughs> and... Nice. How about the bike situation? I'm pleased you brought up the bike situation. That's one of Wario's most iconic moves. We're gonna give Scrooge McDuck a wheelbarrow full of money, 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 and yeah. he's gonna go vroom, Okay, vroom. I like it. One of the most memorable roles Scrooge McDuck has had is in a Mickey's A Christmas Carol. Mm -hmm. And there's a scene where he gets the Christmas wreath and shoves it on their head. And I thought he could wreath people. Or maybe he puts it all the way down to the ground. And they get stuck. They walk around like, <laughs> they can only punch for a bit. <laughs> That's kind of funny, I like that. And my final move is obviously the opening of DuckTales. He's diving into that money. big money vault. Um, I thought he could maybe dive like into the ground of the stage and like coins splutter out like and he's into money. And people. And also he hits people as he dives down yeah. and then he shoots up and if you were like... In his path. So it's another like, hit, coins, up. And the coins cause damage as well. Sure. Yeah, they should. Okay, Scrooge McDuck! That's his regular, regular outfit. I said regular twice then, that's how regular it was. This is his first ever appearance in 1947. He was actually a first appeared in one of the comics and he was only meant to be just a one-off character for like one comic and people liked him so much and they decided to use him again and again. So the third costume, we've got this Christmas Carol Red. That's a big old book, that. Number four is again from the Christmas Carol, but like his nighttime blue look. Ooh. Shifty. Number five, I thought we'd get his swimsuit. That's a cool outfit. Number six, I thought we'd represent Scotland with his kilt. Do you reckon he's proper Scotsman? Do you reckon he's wearing underpants? Well, Donald Duck doesn't wear underpants even when he's just out and about with no trousers on, so I'm gonna say he's probably a real Scotsman. 
Oh, oh Browns keep on winning. <laughs> How did that one get in there? <laughs> Number seven, I thought he could wear this jacket to represent Ludwig von Drake. So like this it. isn't actually Scrooge McDuck. This is another character. He's like a scientist. He like talks about colors and stuff. But from I what? just from like Mickey Mouse shorts. But I really like this character. So, but he's not big enough to ever get in the game. So I thought. We could represent him with a costume. Of and course. he kind of looks like Scrooge McDuck, right? His final costume is based on his current DuckTales look, which is red rather than the old one, which was blue. For his stage, we're going back into his vault. We've got on one side a big diving board that you can jump off. The rest of the stage is just the coins. But I thought what could be interesting is every time you open the stage, the wave pattern will just be slightly different. So it's like a slightly different stage, stage each time. time. You know what I'm saying? Maybe it's like a big hill on the left and then it dips right. down and then up. Or maybe it's kind of more flat or maybe it's like a big spike in the middle. Who knows? And for Scrooge McDuck's final smash, he's going to open up his big money vault and a whole wave of money comes and he's just like swimming on top of it. Uh. Comes across the screen and everyone gets pounded by little metal discs known as coins. <laughs> and that is Scrooge McDuck. What are you saying, bruh? Uh, yeah. Oh yeah! <laughs> the bagpipe thing was quite cool. Okay. And I like the money stuff, that was cool. Uh, I'm over the ducks though, we need to move on from ducks. And I'd bar humbug to you. Huh?